Remember the Helen and Ivan PSLE math questions that went super viral last year? Now, every year, about 40,000 students put their math skills to the test in the final primary level exams here in Singapore. Now, and from estimates, roughly 80 to 90% of questions are really standard questions. Now, most certainly, there are some challenging ones. This year in 2022 is no different. Now, have a look at this fans question that came out in the PSLE math exams. Pretty interesting one, and today we'll try and solve it together. Now let's dive into the question. The lines represent fences. 177 meters of fences were used to make the following figure of fences. The fences are rectangular in shape with equal breadth. Part A, what is the length of AB? Part B, given that the area enclosed by the rectangles is 876 square meters, find the perimeter of this figure. Now this 177 meters that you see, right, represents all the lines that is part of this figure. Not just the outline, but also whatever is inside as well. Okay, so the great thing about this question is that we are given 36 meters on the left side, which means if we go to the right of this figure, number one, number two, number three. Number one, number two, number three. What do you think will happen when you take one, two, and three and you join them together? You will also get that 36 meters as well. Okay, now another great thing about this question is that we are given, we are also given 27 meters at the bottom. 27 meters will be here as well because you have a rectangle. Then whatever is the balance is twice of AB. Right, so if you take the red lines, 36 times 2, that will give you all the red lines, plus 27 times 2, the two blue lines. You take that total and you work with 177 meters. You take 177 meters, subtract away that total, you will get twice of AB. So that is the strategy for this particular question. Okay, so first step, what we do is we will take 36 multiplied by 2, we will get 72 meters. We will take 27 multiplied by 2, we will get 54 meters. And we'll add these lines together, 72 plus 54, uh, this will give you 126 meters. And then we'll take 177, take away the 126, we will get twice of AB. So again, I repeat, this 126 represents the red lines and the blue lines. So if you take 177 minus 126, you can use a calculator for this because this is uh, paper 2. So 177 minus 126, you will get 51 meters, which represents now that two times of AB over here and over here. So to find AB, we'll just take 51, divide this by 2, we'll get an answer of 25.5 meters. Final answer for part A 25.5 meters. Now part B is next. Uh, given that the area enclosed by the rectangles is 876 square meters, find the perimeter of the figure, which also means the outline of this figure. All the outsides of this figure, or the length is on the outside, we need to find those lengths and add all those lengths up. And the great thing about this question is that we know many of the outlines already. For example, if we go to the left side of this figure, we know that that is 36 meters. And remember earlier, we had 1, 2, and 3. So number 1, number 2, number 3. If we add these three lengths together, we also get 36 meters. We also have 27 meters, which is the bottom part. We just found the topmost part of your perimeter, which is 25.5. And the only thing that is missing is this small purple part. There's a first question mark and the slightly longer purple part next question mark as well. So these two question marks, we need to try and find them out. And then once we get them, we get all of the lengths that we need for the outline. We add up all these lengths and we get the parameter. Question is, how do I find this question mark? Now to do this, we'll need to investigate what is this blue line here. Because once we get the blue line right, we take 25.5 minus the blue line, we'll get the small question mark. 
we will take 27 minus that same blue line to get the slightly longer question mark. How do I find this blue line though? Uh, this is where you need to find the area of this rectangle. You take the area, divide by the breadth, you will get that particular blue line. What is the breadth of this rectangle? Now remember earlier on they said that the breadth or the width of this rectangle, they are all the same. So the very first step we can do for part B is to take 36 divided by 3, we will get 12 meters. Okay, so all of this breadth is 12 meters, 12 meters, this is also 12 meters, right? Which means we can find the areas of the top rectangle, the bottommost rectangle, and then we take the total area, which is 876. We take that minus away the top rectangle's area, the bottom rectangle area. We get the middle rectangle area. Once we get the middle rectangle area, we take that divided by 12. We will get that blue line that we so desperately need right now. Okay? So, next step, we find the area of the topmost rectangle, which is 12 times 25.5. Paper 2, so you can use the calculator again. 12 times 25.5. So that is 306. Take 12 times 27 for the bottommost rectangle. 324. And we'll take the total area 876 minus 306 minus 324 as well. 876. Minus 306 minus 324 and we'll get 246. So we take 246, divide by 12 to get that length that we so desperately need, that white question mark there. Divide by 12, we'll get 20.5. Okay, so which means that question mark over here is actually 20.5 meters. We can then find that purple, short purple length that we need, which is 25.5 minus 20.5. We can find the slightly longer purple length, which is 27 minus 20.5. We get 6.5 meters. And then we can add up all the length that we have early on for the outlines. Okay, let me just do a quick recap. 36 plus another 36 plus 27 plus 25.5 plus, so we just found 5 and 6.5. Okay, so 36 times 2 plus 27 plus 25.5 plus 5 plus 6.5. 36 times 2 plus 27 plus 25.5 plus 5 plus 6.5. Final answer is 136 meters for the part B answer for this. PSLD Math 2022, paper 2, question 16.